Mm. Whoa. Nothing like coming to Pickle Palace. Hello, good evening everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. I hope everyone is enjoying their hump day. Hump day, August 7th, 2024. It's day 220. <laughs> and I decided to come here. Pickle Palace filled with bitless cage pickles and a giant pickle sky box. Because who doesn't like pickles? I know Lilia really likes pickles, but she's feeling particularly salty right now. That is to be expected. Because uh, Terran had his, um, his at home doctor's appointment, which is an annual thing. They just come out here and do it. And apparently, aside from him needing to lose weight, his health is doing fine. He even gained an inch back in his bite, which means the compression in his spine has let up a little bit. So he's, he's, he needs to gain one more inch back from his spinal compression. But he, that, you know, in order to do that, you gotta lose weight. So, Tara, get to that exercising. We can do it. Anyway, um, I was saying this earlier. Because, uh, th this is technically take two. I kind of messed up. But, Sweet B has been a little bit of a terror today. Because, let's just say, Buttercup and Lilia were ill-prepared for a toddler that has Tara's toddler energy. Because when Tara was a toddler, was a little terror who would get into everything. So, Sweet B takes after her father. Sorry, Lilia. I understand you were ill-prepared for, but the reason why we're so calm about it is because that was us. That was us as a little child, so... You, you just be lucky. Because Tara's father, when he messaged him a day late, you know, a day after Tara's birthday, was the one that texted to remind him that when he was about two and a half, three years old, Tara was the one that unlocked his front door, walked out the front door, and wandered off, so the police had to go looking for Tara as a little child and found him. The police found Tara in someone else's garage, three blocks away, just playing in someone else's garage. Have fun with that. So, the reason why Tara is so wrong, he knows what to expect. <laughs> that is specifically what it is. Uh, yeah, so... As soon as we learned that last night, Sweet B has officially learned how to unlock the deadbolt. Lovely. Oh, absolutely lovely. Spark has him intended, by the way. As, uh, that means it's only a matter of time, so we keep a close eye on her. And we tried to find child safety locks at all the stores by us. No stores around us have child safety locks. None for your cabinets and none for your doors. Why? I don't know. But none of them parry them. Which means I'm gonna have to look online and they only want you to- They keep posting the expensive ones. We don't need anything expensive. We just need something to keep them off. Because there's a sweet bee who... The reality is I know if I get the child safety locks, it'll be... Two weeks maximum. I give it two weeks maximum before sweet bee figures out the child safety locks. Two weeks. So, we'll prepare for that. But, I... I am... I am chuffed as cherries or whatever. Chuffed the chip, that's what it is. I'm chuffed as chip that I, I came to a pickle world. Because Lily's gonna see this. She's gonna see this and probably tell me that I need... That Tara needs to go get some pickles. So when we have room in the fridge, Lily, if we have everything set aside and you remind us... We can get some pickles. But you have to remind us when the fridge is empty enough. That's the deal. <sighs> the pickle loon. I love thee so. Sorry. I saw the pickle loon. It was rising and falling upon the pickle horizon. What would you call a pickle horizon? What would the horizon of a pickle be? Like if you do like a, a macro POV of the surface of a pickle, what would its horizon be? Pickle Horizon. Horizon Zero Brine? Nah. Yeah. Uh, that would be a fun one. Bye, Nicholas Pickle. Uh, bye, Nicholas Pickle. 
Apparently, if I look directly at it, it disappears. It doesn't like to be seen. Does that mean Nicholas Pickleish die? There it goes. Hey, I'd have to look at it this time. But yes, the problem with them being able to open doors, because I mean, Pete can definitely open doors. She's now getting into the back row, and she's also getting into Buttercup better, but this is supposed to be fair in a bedroom anyway, so Buttercup, if you see this on glancing, because technically we try to not let them watch these, but if you see this in glancing, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be cleaning your room, so that needs to happen too. Don't forget you have responsibilities as an older sister. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's that. Before sleep, he also did get into the bathroom. Uh, yesterday, while Tara was going over to that, um, that school second thing. Was it yesterday? No, it was the day before yesterday. It was the day before yesterday. So on Monday is when Tara was out. Sweet he got into the bathroom and decided that the toilet paper roll needed to be walked through because apparently the toilet paper roll was dirty. So we're down to one toilet paper roll. <laughs> ah, don't you love kids? I absolutely I love kids. I I love kids. They're fun. Especially when they have a ton of energy. Sorry, Lilia, but I find it very entertaining. There are times with there are times where it gets annoying because she's absolutely relentless. And she does not take no for an answer. If you tell her no and take something away, she will find a way to get it back. So, uh, but the, the important thing for anyone to realize what it would sweet be, or any family members that see this, if you ever baby, babysit sweet bee, which I, I don't really expect to ever happen, but if the time ever comes, use a problem solver. Much like we, much like Tara was as a toddler, too. Is, um, uh, this is this is how much we know. Sweet, he's gonna take after Tara on Tara's seventh after his seventh birthday. So he was seven years old. The main thing he always wanted to have was his own pair of vice grips. You know, kind of like the wrench you can walk it in place. Vice grip wrenches, whatever. He really wanted a pair of those. So one day, his father finally got him a pair of vice grips. That same day. Tara took apart the, his entire swing set out in the backyard. He took the entire thing apart. And by the time his father figured out what was happening, he rushed into the garage and took the vice grip away from Tara that year because Tara was in process of taking apart his father's lawnmower as well. Yeah. He, he was very quick to do it too because it was... He had, he had that vice grip for an hour, about an hour, two hours or so. Swing set, by within that one or two hours, the swing set was taken apart and he was a quarter of the way through with taking apart the motor head of the lawnmower with a vice grip. He was very determined because he likes to learn how things work and the fastest way for him to do that is to get his hands on it. And that's also why he wasn't allowed to ever mow the lawn until he was about 13. His dad didn't really trust Tara with things because Tara would take it apart. Which is weird because he got a... Let's see, he was in... Yeah, Tara was about... Uh, he was in 7th grade when he got his first computer. That thing... This... The thing, he got his first computer in about 2000. Yeah, and about the years of 2000 is when he got it. Yeah, because it was Windows XP. He got a win his first computer was a Windows XP computer. And it had like... 10 gigs on it. I think it was like a 10 gigabyte hard drive. And it was... He was amazed because his brother had a 20 gig hard drive. Thing is, Terra now has 9 terabytes on his computer and it's still not enough space. Where we're at, in order to do more of the 360 videos that he wants to do, we are going to need... Well, we're going to have to build a uh, store server that probably has somewhere in the ballpark of... Minimum 20 terabytes. If we want to do a lot more 360 videos because of just how much space 360 video takes up. Especially if you do it in like 4K. Let alone 8K, because we can only handle doing 4K. 
is we don't have enough RAM on the computer. We probably need somewhere in the ballpark of 128 gigs of RAM. And a better processor would be nice too, but that can wait. But yes, from the Tara was a figured out yourself kind of person, and we already know that's the kind of person Sweet Pea is. She, if we're not, if we don't show her how to do something, she will figure out how to do it, whether it's right or otherwise. She will find a way. That's why she knows how to get through all the baby gates. So, uh, those are... It gives her half a second of extra time. It gives us a half second of extra time to get her when she's about to do something she's not supposed to. And that half second can mean the world, you know. But... Again, Lilia, I'm sorry. I was... I was feeling a bit... Well, no, I wasn't feeling salty, but I was definitely feeling... Eh. Hey, don't be salty, okay? But I was feeling... Funny. Actually, really, what happened is uh, I needed something to wake me up a little further. I had some caffeine and went, Ooh, you don't want it. Oh, pickle world. Uh, well, really, when I came in, I was like, I need to go somewhere outdoors today. And I was like, you know what? Let's find somewhere random. So I just went into the world search or VR chat and just went into the world search and just I was like, what's the first word that can come to mind? Because I go to parks all the time. So like, okay, I wonder, do they have anything pickle? Pickle. <laughs> well, anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed their hump day. I'm enjoying it relatively, I suppose. But I am going to go ahead and get going because I got to the recording way. I was utterly distracted after that doctor's appointment today. There was a whole heap that was going on. You know how it goes. But I have to figure out what Tara and I are going to make for supper for everyone because... They're going to be getting hungry in probably now, so I do need to hurry. So this is Tessa Spade on your hump day, August 7th, 2024, day 220. Everyone have a wonderful day, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now. Ah, pickles.